This is Maria, your average university student. She goes to class, studies in the library, and occasionally goes out with her friends Julia and Anne. Maria recently noticed her classmates using marijuana and wanted to try it out for herself. With its recent legalization, she decided to go online to learn more about it. After becoming more familiar with the substance, she decided to experiment with it through inhalation and ingestion. After trying both methods out, she decided to stick with adjusting marijuana. One day, Julia, one of Maria's housemates, caught her making marijuana edibles. She instantly became worried and brought up the issue to their other housemate, Anne. Oh my gosh, Anne, you won't believe what I saw Maria doing earlier. What? She was making weed brownies. Can you believe that our friend is a stoner? There's no way. Maria would never do something so stupid. Would I lie? One of my housemates is a stoner, and now my other one thinks I'm a liar? What is my life coming to? Calm down there. Okay, I believe you. What are we gonna do? I think we should confront her. Don't you know weed is a gateway drug? We don't want Maria to throw her life away, do we? You're right. We should confront her. The sooner the better. Let's do it at the party tonight. Perfect. It can be like a mini intervention. Maria, put that brownie down right now. What? Oh, see? I told you, Julia. I knew Maria wasn't a stoner. No, but I know what I saw. What are you guys talking about? Maria, I saw you making weed brownies at our house. This is an intervention. We don't want you to ruin your life. Weed is a gateway drug. For all we know, this time next year, you'll be hooked on heroin. <laughs> oh, Julia, you have nothing to worry about. Yes, you're right. I was just saying weed earlier. What? But before you go making any crazy assumptions, I've done lots of research and marijuana is completely safe for you. Are you sure? My mom told me that it's not good for you because it's still a type of drug. She also said that several studies have shown that marijuana can have harmful effects on the developing brain, like it can impede decision making, ruin your memory, and even lower your IQ. Oh yeah, I've heard that too. I did come across those studies as well, but research is still ongoing. Although those effects are still possible, weed is actually not as bad as you guys think. Cannabis has more than 60 different cannabinoids, the two most common ones being THC and CBD. THC is a part of the weed that makes you feel high. It also causes muscle relaxation, appetite stimulation, and the inability to feel pain or vomit. CBD, on the other hand, doesn't make you feel high like THC, but instead has shown to relax muscles and reduce anxiety. It also has antioxidant and antipsychotic activity. Hmm, that's actually super interesting. Yeah, and actually THC is a lot less harmful to the body than alcohol. As a matter of fact, no one has ever died from weed overdose. The same can't be said about alcohol. Oh wow, I did not know that. But isn't smoking still bad for your lungs or something? Yeah, it is. Although THC isn't harmful, smoking is. Just like with tobacco, marijuana smoke irritates the throat and lungs by disrupting the mucus lining of your respiratory tract, which increases your chances of contracting a bacterial infection. It's also the reason why you see people coughing when they smoke. So, if you're not smoking it, how exactly are you getting high? Through ingestion. Do you feel different depending on if you eat or smoke it? Actually, yeah. When you smoke it, you start to feel its effects within 5 to 15 minutes, and they usually last between 2 to 4 hours. But when you ingest it, the effects take anywhere from 30 minutes up to 3 hours to kick in, and last around 8 hours depending on how much THC is in the edible. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm glad you did your research before you decided to use weed. I'm sorry we were so judgmental. Now that that's cleared up, can I get you a drink? I wish I could, but it's never a good idea to mix weed and alcohol. Have you guys heard about greening out? Yeah, I have, but I'm not sure what it means. So greening out is a situation where a person feels sick after consuming cannabis. This usually happens after a person has been both drinking and using weed. Basically what happens is that the alcohol in the blood causes cannabis to be absorbed faster and it can result in much stronger and more unpleasant effects than usual. Oh wow, but I mean, is it serious? Oh yeah, totally. So both alcohol and THC have depressant effects. When they're combined, you might actually stop breathing because there's an increased risk that the nervous system could be slowed down to dangerous levels. 
Also, cannabis prevents the body from vomiting, which is your body's way of stopping the excess absorption of alcohol. So if you're not able to throw up because of cannabis, you're at an increased risk of getting alcohol poisoning. Yikes. I certainly don't want to stop reading. That sounds so dangerous. Oh my gosh. Can this happen if you have too much weed on its own too? So you won't stop breathing, but you can green out from having too much weed. The issue with ingestion is that it's really hard to know when you've had enough because it takes so long for your body to feel any effects. So it's super easy to take more than your body can handle. Maria, I'm so sorry. It's obvious you know what you're doing. Do you want to come back to the party with us? Yeah, sure. Maria went on recreationally using marijuana. Julia and Anne are now more comfortable with Maria's decision, but decided not to use it themselves. On October 17, 2018, marijuana was legalized in Canada. The use and distribution of recreational cannabis will be regulated by each provincial government. The Canadian government, researchers, and healthcare providers stress the importance of keeping cannabis away from children and youth because of its potentially harmful effects on their developing brains. In Ontario, you must be 19 years or older to use, purchase, and grow recreational marijuana. There are also legislations regulating where you can smoke cannabis. This includes private residences, outdoor public places, and designated hotel rooms, to name a few. Places where you cannot smoke marijuana includes enclosed common areas, such as workplaces, university residences, schools and playgrounds, and near hospital entrances. Lastly, driving while high will continue to be illegal. Starting on October 17, 2018, the Online Ontario Cannabis Store will be the only legal distributor of cannabis in Ontario. Consumers can order up to 30 grams of recreational cannabis at a time, and it will be delivered securely to the residents. Consumers are also allowed to grow up to four plants per household. Different rules will apply to medicinal cannabis, which will be regulated exclusively by the federal government. However, medicinal cannabis will continue to be provided to those who are authorized by their healthcare practitioners. If you have any questions regarding the legalization of marijuana, we encourage you to visit your province's cannabis legalization information site, which we have included in the description below. We also encourage you to do your own research before you decide to start using marijuana.